holy smokes dudes it's another wednesday i missed you guys i don't know why i'm so excited to record today um whatever but peep the fit i look like a gentleman okay uh i don't know i don't know you know let's just say a new movie out has been influencing me to i don't know i just love the style you know peep it if you like it if you don't you know if you don't like it, whatever guys i'm excited i'm excited for this reaction because dc is in the studio as he should be because that boy that man can sing okay uh, i saw a little snippet of the damani um i love damani ti son a little they gave us a sneak peek of the song on his uh insta account um i used to follow damani i don't anymore because you know <laughs> if you guys are frequent viewers of my channel you know i'm trying to become more disciplined in god and Damani just, he stimulates a, a, a part of me that I'm not trying to feed right now. Uh, you know, that, that lustful, you know, that sex drive. He makes, he makes good music that's good for, I don't know, some may say the bedroom, you know. He's just very uh, R&B, you know, sexual. And he's good at it. He's very talented. He's good. He's good at rapping, like spitting bars, period. Um, he went on this one uh pod where you know it's one of those things where they want you to freestyle or whatever and he killed it like i don't know if it was pre-written or what but who cares um it was so good but dc can sing and i'm glad like i know he has his own like solo career he's not i don't know if he's active in making music he has music out like on platforms i know i saw some of his music on spotify or whatever but um honestly in my opinion i'm just be honest i'm a music reviewer um i think dc works better when he feeds like when he works with people um when he has somebody to bounce off of um because you know i did try to give his solo music a try and it just wasn't hitting the same but from that snippet i saw him singing on here it just sounded so good i don't know i think he just sounds better with other people like this thing he does with carlos and um chico uh you know the 85 south show um i used to watch that like it was a point where i was watching that every morning for work it was so funny dog hey, like hey, blink Cause so it won't come out as easy. As easy? Yeah, as easy. It's easy. Cause they got a key they had done for three months. Yep. And it get like fuzzy. They got a fro and break. What you call the that? protective I don't care. style. Nine man. years. Yeah, yeah. And he just sitting there like. He ain't gonna let her go. He can't find nobody to love his stupid ass. No. <laughs> you right, baby. I'm about to will. Just stay with you. Shit. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna love me out there in the street. That nigga really ugly on the low low. <laughs> uh, like, they're just funny in general, and I already knew they kind of blended well together a while now, and I was just, it would be so awesome if they just had something where it was just the three of them. And enough rambling, I just want to tell you guys kind of what, you know, how I know these people. I don't know Seti Hendrix, though, and he is on this song, so I, I you know, I'm really hoping we're not going to see no naked booties, you know, no thongs in this. Um, it is R&B romantic, but it is called Forever Lasting. So maybe they'll show something that lasts forever and not temporary BBLs, you know. I don't know. <laughs> but my love language is different. <laughs> That's DC. I mean, it's for never, ever, no. Yeah. I gave you my love, I did it with some passion. And he just being himself yeah. on the track. Not DC, it's a real guy. No, 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 no. She tall. Too smooth, the money. He said he wanted Amazon. <laughs> The fuck am I thinking? Say, what am I feeling? That shit got us up in the ceiling. What I is she doing? Out, I bet she don't know what to do in this video. Bet you, ain't, bet you ain't never. Bet you ain't felt no one do it like me. Got you calling your friends, little baby, gonna tell them. Yeah. Who is that? Where do you see her? This will ever last I be this will ever ever yeah. I gave you my love, I did it with some passion. Oh, that's him saying that? You cannot just leave this love again. 
was so bad. I thought that was my boy DC. Did I not sound like him? Okay, Sadie, my bad. That's you. Here we come! Come on, DC, come to the door. Can you teach me how to Nobody above you wanna show my love for you. But my love language is different. Hit my phone so I'm not such a down. That's his phone number? Is that called Sam? What is that? What did he say? You cannot leave me this way everlasting. Why gotta move? I mean this way ever 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 I can't believe that's not DC. That's not like something he would do straight up. Yeah. You cannot just see this love again. The sound good, dude. No, 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 Wish I was, wish I was close to you It ain't no holding you It ain't no holding you Is this really the whole song? That was so short, what? Ain't no holding you, what are they talking about? I'm just so confused, like The song was cool, but what? I'm so confused as to what What's being said? Um, I don't know, man. And what do those numbers mean? Because that's not a phone number, Damani. The song was good. I just like seeing DC be an active in music because he, that boy can sing. It's good to see him actually putting it to some use instead of jokes. Like, take it seriously, dude. And I love it. I love to see him collabing with upcoming huge talented artists like Damani. Like, it honestly sounds weird to call Damani an upcoming artist because just because I don't know if it's because of his father status which I hate to mention his father at all when I'm talking about him because I just feel like out of respect for him I should just not mention him at all and just talk about his identity on his own but maybe that's like a part of it why I just feel like the dude is already established like to say that he's upcoming seemed weird because it seemed like he was already at the top when he started to me or I mean I wasn't there in the beginning of his career what started to uh get me interested in his career at all or know about him was um shoot god I forgot it again um it's called sleep it off that's what got me hooked on him was his song sleep it off started a track you know whatever and that's actually what made me want to watch like get more into his family and then get more into ti because i didn't really i mean i knew ti was famous everybody know you know you can buy with everybody know that song you know my dad got she was playing out like a bunch he just played the radio a lot i don't even listen to the radio really but my dad does and that was all over the radio at that time when i was a child and it's so funny because his dad like he wasn't the most times it's the other way around you know ti first we follow him and then you go to his kids but for me it was Damani I was drawn to Damani's like vibe and his aesthetic and you know I just love him he's handsome he's cool he's talented I was drawn to Damani first and his music is just um, unique it's something new and fresh it's not the same thing I hear every day it's, he's a dreadhead but he's not the basic dreadhead of the generation you know he's not out here just calling mumble rappers do we still call him that anymore or do we just call him trash at this point um, but no I was drawn the money first and then it made me want to check out his background and then I found out he's T.I.'s son which makes so much sense. That's his dad you can tell and then it made me go to their you know family show and you know when he was a kid I'm like wow okay the money came up from a great upbringing but it doesn't come out his music he doesn't sound spoiled he's working hard earning his way up I love how he's making his own brand for himself and uh, yeah I'm just excited for his future he's just always refreshing to hear and um, it it was definitely this whole song i would definitely describe it as refreshing to hear yeah it was refreshing to hear dc on a song like this like the way just the way he came in like i felt like he was flirting with me like <laughs> didn't we all feel that like
like the way he was just like I wanna like I don't know what he was saying but I was like boy it was just too smooth and it like it felt like he was trying to put it on on us you know like he was really like you too smooth bro like DC he good he good at flirting like he was just showing his smooth demeanor in this everybody was so smooth the song was smooth and refreshing definitely but yeah I mean I'm not gonna draw this video out anymore that's basically the end of it I really don't got anything else to say I hope you guys enjoy my reaction um this song is cool it's, it was my only complaint I know songs the basic you know length is three minutes but it was way too short like I feel like I was just getting in it I don't know and I want more I want more collaborations I want to hear more DC in collaborations I want to hear more in Damani so this is the first Damani reaction it won't be the last it's basically what I'm saying and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction I look like a gentleman please say something about the fit I, I look good like I look good <laughs> before I go I do just one thing I want to input one more thing thank you so much Damani for not showing the um you know the booty the um <laughs> thank you for just not showing a girl in the naked thank you for no pornographic imagery because that's honestly what it is and Man, I'm just becoming less and less desensitized by the day. I'm sobering up spiritually and it's really coming out like, uh, I don't know, I'll just say this briefly um, just to make the video longer because I am I talk a lot. Uh, I saw this imagery, you know, and it was some, you know, oh, I don't want to get too graphic on here, but it was just, it was nasty, y'all. And I was like, wow, like I was, it was for the first time in a while where I felt something looking at an imagery like that uh, can I just be real for a second for you guys and just talk to you guys about how pornographic and sexualized America is how hyper sexualized it, it has it's becoming by the day and <laughs> oh my god I just I don't know if I want to tell the whole freaking story basically I was watching Candace Owens and Andrew Tate interview she actually showed the video that I had never seen before of him and this woman and it was just it was involved in this case where they thought he was abusing her and um but she asked for it it was, it was a consensual thing that should be done privately i was just watching it and it, it actually i felt something watching it i don't know maybe because i respect andrew tate and i don't like seeing him in that in that light at all but um i thank god i just gotta thank god um, because i'm excited to see a new me i'm becoming um not being desensitized anymore coming out of the dark into the light like if you talked to me last year i would not be shocked to see that i'd be like do i saw that yesterday like i don't know like it's just good to because i live in a country where you know a lot of people would see that and not bad an eye and i'm sobering up i'm not becoming the, of the world i'm being set apart and i feel set apart and it's becoming easier because it used to be so hard to be set apart man in conclusion to sum it up i'm glad to not see any pornographic content <laughs> you don't realize how dirty you felt when you know until you come out of it and that's honestly what i gotta say about that like when you change your mindset you don't even realize you felt dirty until you're out of it you're like wow this, this is different it's a different lens different glasses new prescription yeah so yeah uh see you guys later enough rambling <laughs> see you guys next wednesday with another oh my gosh you said the last wednesday of the month it better not be creeping up on me like that it's gonna be the last wednesday of the month next week why didn't you guys tell me? Oh my freaking gosh. See you guys later. Love you.